Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here, and this week we're going to talk about use of current keepers and stay alive modules. So with stay alive modules such as the current keeper becoming more and more popular in today's modeling, there's many times a question comes up as far as too much stay alive time. If the locomotive continues to run past, say, a dead spot or a section of track that's intentionally off to help with signaling, blocking, things like that, there always becomes the question on how do I get the decoder to stop faster than what the current keeper will maintain the power for. Well, the good news is there's already built in way to do this in CV11. CV11 is called packet timeout. And the way this works is the decoder will work X number of seconds after the decoder has received the last valid DCC packet. So what happens is, is when the decoder is staying alive on the current keeper, it's not receiving your DCC track power. And so therefore the packet timeout counter starts. Now CV11 is measured in quarter seconds. So in this particular instance to demonstrate, I've set CV11 to a value of eight, which represents two seconds. So let's try it out and see how it works. Now I'm gonna move this locomotive forward at speed step 10. We're gonna let it get going. Now the current keeper is fully charged. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away track power by removing one of the power clips right here. 1001, 1002. And now you can see the locomotive starting to come to a stop. So after two seconds of time, the decoder starts to stop. Now when I reapply track power, that command is now back in session and telling the decoder to move at speed step 10. So the locomotive continues on its way. Now with this current keeper and other stay alive modules, the decoder will keep making its sounds and continue on doing what it was doing before the power loss. But because the CV11 packet timeout is enabled, the decoder will bring the locomotive to a stop after X number of seconds of not receiving a packet. Now you can adjust this for you and your layout. So if you want to go 15 seconds, you'll set it to a value of 60. Now for more information, please go to our website at soundtracks.com and also check out the user's guide under this manuals tab on our website.